What's cooking on Cindy's Kitchen this morning? Today we're making a cheesy bacon Brussels sprout. Mmm, yum. Even if you don't like Brussels sprouts, or you're like, how else can we make them other than with balsamic vinegar? Because that's like the go-to thing. I think you're gonna really like this recipe. Um, I think it's gonna get to you. And then the, the last thing, we're the second thing we're gonna do is a dragon fruit salad. And I've got uh, a, a red dragon fruit and yellow dragon fruit. So we did a whole thing on exotic fruits once, but um, this is a, and this is a very light salad, so I think you'll like it. Well, let's get started on our Brussels sprouts. The first thing we're gonna need it's a very large skillet. So you're the biggest skillet that you have and you're gonna need three tablespoons of butter, okay? Three tablespoons of butter in there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And then, now this recipe calls for shallots. I know that you have heard me say, oh, a little snooty, we're gonna use shallots, right? I've been snooty about that. So why would you use a shallot and what is a shallot? Okay, well, a shallot, so you see this right here? That's one that I've already taken it off. It looks almost like a, a head of garlic when you get it. That's, so I've taken, I've taken everything off there. Um, and, and it is in the onion and garlic family. It is considered an onion, a shallot. Good morning, Mary Beth. Um, it's sweet. So, but, but not as sweet as like, in Texas, we have these sweet yellow onions called 1015s, and they're from the, the valley, and they're very sweet. Dragon fruit is expensive. I gotta, I gotta look on the receipt and see how much this one was this morning. Um, but anyway, um, shallots have a very, they have a different flavor. They're very mild. And so you know how in onions you get that bite, right? And so you're looking at it, and the bite is a little, yaw. Uh, these don't have any hot, really, and no real bite, but a nice onion flavor. So, good morning, Diane from West Michigan. And so I'm hoping uh, you can, but, but do not feel like you have to go spend the money and buy a shallot, a shallot. If you just wanna use a green onion, that's fine too. But you're gonna need two of them. They're always six to eight dollars, oh my, okay. I don't know if you can hear the butter bubbling over there, but I'm gonna go put my shallot in my butter. Okay, so two shallots diced up and we've put in there. The next thing we're gonna add is some garlic, and you know me, you can add regular garlic, but Cindy's using her roasted garlic. And we did it yesterday, we did a bunch yesterday. So you can see in there, See the roasted garlic, yum. I'm gonna hold it up in case you're going through comments or something. See, you can see the roasted garlic. Look how beautiful that is. It smells delightful and it's already kind of mushy. So you can smash it if you want or you can just throw it in the pan. I'm gonna use probably six cloves of garlic. But remember, this is not like raw garlic. It's not gonna bite you. It's already sweet, and it's gonna add a great garlic flavor, but a mellow garlic flavor and a sweet garlic flavor. So six in goes. There we go. Gonna have to put some more garlic in there already. I, you know, when you guys ask me, well, how fast do you go through that? And I'm like, like that, right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this over here just so you can see what's going on in the pot, okay? Oh, I guess I need a spatula. Okay, so you see we have our shallots, our shallots in there. Good morning, Judy Johnson, good to see you. See, you like the bite of the raw garlic, I don't, but I have to tell you, the roasted garlic, I can eat like candy. Okay, you see how we have all this in here? The next thing we're gonna do is dump we're gonna dump two pounds, now that's a lot, and so if it's just you or you're just cooking for two, please feel free to just inch this recipe down, okay? Two pounds is a lot. It's usually, the little netted bags has two, uh, has one pound in it, so you have to get two. What you need to do is you need to, on the small ones, you can just cut them in half. If it's a big one, like look how big that one was, I quartered it, okay? So you want them, because we need them to cook. Okay, and part of the problem 
that people have with, um, well, other than the smell, right? Uh, is that is they, they just have a bitter flavor to them. And a lot of times they don't cook all the way, right? They're not, they're not cooked all the way through. All right, we're gonna put this on the stove and let those just marinate a little bit. We need about 10 minutes. We need about 10 minutes with that. And then we're gonna add some other great stuff. We used to use a whole head of garlic. I know, Diane, me too, I like that. Now, one of the things that's gonna make this the delicious yummy, do I trim the stem ends? Debbie, if the end, let me pull one out real quick out of here. Um, I didn't really on, if the, okay, so here's the end. Do you see the end of the, the stem? If the end of the stem is dark brown, then I will trim it off. Or if the stem is very long, I will trim it off. Other, otherwise, I'll just cut it. So you see this one, I just cut in half. Can you see that? I just cut the thing in half. Baby cabbage. This is what the kids used to call these when they were growing up, baby cabbage. Anyway, there we go. I'm gonna give this a toss. Now, if you're cutting down this recipe because there's only one or two of you, you don't need that maybe that huge of a skillet, but obviously two pounds of, of Brussels sprouts, that's a lot. Um, I love Brussels sprouts, so it's not a problem for me. And, and my oldest daughter does too, so that's a good thing. Now we're gonna need bacon. Uh, you had some options here. Uh, you could certainly have cooked some bacon and if you don't have pre-cooked bacon, then that's what you need to do. Uh, I'm gonna say between eight and 10 pieces. And I know that sounds like a lot, but we just put two pounds of, uh, of Brussels sprouts in there. And really, cheese and bacon makes everything better. Um, I, of course, did not cook my bacon. I used that pre-cooked bacon and I just chopped it up. Look at that. Pre-cooked bacon. Uh, if you did, go ahead and cook your bacon. You're gonna ask me, can I saute that in the, in the bacon juice? Uh, and you certainly can, but you probably wanna pour off a lot of it because um, you, you don't want this to be a greasy dish, right? You don't want it to be greasy and oily, but you do want it to be flavorful. Good morning, Joanne, good to see you. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more, I need a, a different spoon. Coming right back. I just want to make sure all the Brussels sprouts are happy. Okay, we're gonna cook that for 10 minutes because again, we're softening up the Brussels sprouts. All right, so we're gonna need bacon. I told you about the bacon. The other thing we're gonna need is some cheese. Now, I don't want you to go to the store, but if you had to go to the store already, because I know this is a little pricey. And so I just got a little tiny wedge, okay? So don't ask me how much. It wasn't like I bought a particular amount. I, I just got like a tiny little wedge, like, like that much, little tiny wedge. This is Gruyere cheese. And, and it has a little bit more of a bite. You were, in, you were on yesterday, but you were in Facebook jail. Oh, Joanne, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad you're back. This has a little bit more of a tang and a bite uh, than your normal cheddar. The great thing about Gruyere and why you see it at places like the melting pot, or if you're gonna make a cheese fondue, is because this melts just lovely. I mean, oh my goodness, lovely, okay? To offset the cost a little bit, um, I went ahead, like I said, and just got a little. So this is maybe, this is probably a cup, okay? So not very much. I'm gonna offset that then, um, because the recipe actually calls um, for some white cheddar. I'm gonna actually use my Mexican blend cheddar. I know, if you have white cheddar, use that. If you have regular cheddar, use that. Um, but we wanna use this, because this is gonna melt really well. Hello, Melinda sneaking in, it's okay. And then the other thing we're gonna need is some heavy cream. You're gonna need three-fourths of a cup of heavy cream. All right, I'm gonna go get our Brussels sprouts and bring them back over. Mm. Now, it hasn't been 10 minutes yet, but we're kind of getting close. 
um, you will see that I'm going to tilt up. Some of them already have some brown on them, which is just fine. I mean, we don't need anything to burn by any stretch of the imagination, but a little brown on everything is lovely. We're gonna have to decide what we're gonna cook these in, and I'm gonna transfer these to a baking dish. You certainly could use a nine by 13. Um, I'm gonna use a round dish just because. Okay, now look at this, I wanna show you. Look at this, look at that great color. Can you see the great, well, maybe not. Hold on, let me hold it this way. Can you see the great color we're getting? Well, shoot, let me do it this way. There, color. You see that great color we're getting on there? It's awesome. Okay, we're gonna go ahead right now because we've got some color. We're gonna add our three-fourths cup. Well, no, first I didn't add any salt or pepper and we, you know we have to do that. What did you pour on them when you put it? Oh, I just added a little bit more oil. I was afraid that they were gonna burn because you really should have it on medium high heat. I have it on high heat because we're cooking with you and I, I don't want it to have to cook that long, okay? So yeah, I did. Now we're also gonna add a pinch, a pinch, and don't miss out on this. This adds a little good flavor of cayenne pepper, okay? I added two pinches or more. We like a little spice. Okay, so we have our salt, our pepper, and our cayenne pepper in there. Just do a pinch. You, it, it, it adds a lovely flavor. Okay, these are like bright orange. I mean bright orange, bright green. Okay, we're gonna add our cream, three-fourths of a cup of heavy cream. So that's what I used, heavy cream. We're gonna put our Gruyere in there. Mmm, yum. And just sprinkle it on the top, okay? La, la, la. Well, it's kind of stuck on the bottom. There we go. Joanne, look, I'm using the bowl again. Hey, Rita, you love my red hair? Nah. Okay, I'm putting this back over. All is good right with the world. Look, do you see how the cheese has melted into the cream? Mmm. I'm going to dump this into my baking bowl. I'm so sorry. You know, my hands don't work very well. It's the, it's the arthritis girl. They just don't work very well. Okay, so, so look what we've got so far. That's pretty awesome. But now, mmm, yum, smells so good. We're gonna add our bacon. So again, I'm using a lot of bacon. I think I have 10 pieces in here. But I think if you're gonna call something a bacon, it's fine with the hand. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, I feel a little guilty sometimes, you know, when I'm trying to do stuff and I, it either takes me a long time or I have to do things a different way because I can't lift with certain, and certain fingers don't work anymore. Okay, so another cup of cheese and this, I'm just using my little Mexican blend. Use white cheddar if you want. Use what's in your refrigerator, okay? I mean, I've already said go buy Brussels sprouts and I kind of doubt that you had Brussels sprouts in your refrigerator. Did you have Brussels sprouts drooling there? Okay, I'm just gonna give this a toss um, because I just want the bacon and the extra cheese that we've put in here all the way around. I have to tell you that the cream and the Gruyere is already making a lovely little sauce, I have to say. Now, it's not gonna be a heavy sauce. It's not like when you finish cooking it, there's gonna be this huge amount of white sauce. It won't be like that. So then you won't feel so guilty. All right, once you've gone all the way around your baking dish or your bowl, whatever you're using, just kind of spread them all out. Mmm, yum. Make sure all the bacon and the cheese is off of your spoon. Mm. Mm. Oh my. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Are you looking? Is that beautiful? All right, we're going in the oven. 375 for 12 to 15 minutes. We're just going to get it all bubbly. No lid, no foil, no cover. Poof, done. Okay, now that being said, Let's move all of this aside. And now, take a sip of coffee. Whoo! Mm-mm-mm. Who just said good morning? Oh, there you go. It is good. It is really, really good. Okay, 
Now, here we go. Dragon fruit. This is the red one. This is the yellow one, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip my cutting board over because I don't want this to taste like shallots, shallots, okay? And then I'm also gonna use a kiwi. I'm gonna use two kiwi. And I had this left over in my refrigerator. It's just watermelon. And so we're gonna use this too. Then we're also gonna need some mint. Now, most fruit salads have a really heavy dressing, and I'm gonna go ahead and make the dressing first because I want all the flavors to go. That could be my whole meal too, I know, right? Dragon fruit is a little pricey. Again, I, I need to pull the receipt to see how much it was, but we're gonna make the dressing first. Most fruit salads have a very sweet, very heavy dressing, okay? I'm gonna do a very light dressing, okay, because I want the fruit to come out. And really, it, they have such great flavors. I want those to shine. Yes, Gail, the golden kiwi are a little sweeter than the green kiwi. You are correct. All right, so for our, um, hold on, let me write where I wrote down. Okay, just a little tiny bowl. Just a little tiny bowl, and you're gonna need, hold on, let me see if I have some in the refrigerator before I have to open that one. Lemon juice? No. Okay. So I have to open this one. I know, you'd say, Cindy, you bought, oh, stupid, stupid. You bought Brussels sprouts. You should have, you only eats fruits and vegetables. So, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, you know what? They need the section of the, they need the section of the grocery store where they have, I can't get it open. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it, I got it. Nope, I don't. Oh, there, okay, got most of it off. Um, they need the section of the grocery store for the old people with arthritis hands um, to use. Okay, I could have gotten a lemon, but alas, no. Spoons, you need your spoons. Get your tablespoon. We're gonna use three tablespoons of lemon juice, okay? One, two, and I know that fresh squeezed lemon juice tastes much better. I know, but for me, it's just easier to keep that in my fridge. Now we're gonna do two tablespoons, but I'm not gonna put it in there. Two tablespoons of honey. If you have local honey, then obviously you wanna use that, right? Because local honey is supposedly better for you. Okay, two tablespoons of honey and then mint. Fresh mint leaves. Now, I have a plant in the back, so I just went and yanked a whole bunch off of the, of, of the plant. Um, but you can buy them in the grocery store. This is essential to this dressing. Now, you might get the mint leaves and go, yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing it, I'm it. What happens is, especially with these leaves, just like basil and cilantro, you have to crush them before they, they start going, yaw, right? So you've got some options. If you don't mind uh, leaves about yay size in your salad, you certainly can do that and just leave them whole, right? Um, if you decide to leave them whole, you wanna put them in your hands and kind of rub them together, kind of crush them, and that will, ah, that releases the oils, and then, do I smack them? No, I rub them. Anyway, so that will release the oils. If you say, if somebody in my family sees a leaf in there, they're going to not eat whatever I've prepared. If that's the case, hold on. Mm. Mm. If that's the case, take your knife and just give them a chop. Okay. Okay. Um, there, so I just gave them a chop. And that gives us about two tablespoons, which is what we want, okay? Our mint goes in our dressing. That's what we want. We want two tablespoons of mint, however you get it there. Your neighbor has bees and you get fresh honey? I'm jealous. All right, so now we're just gonna mix that up. Um, you actually probably don't need a whisk uh, because of the leaves, but, uh-oh, and I got it all over me. Ha, 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 ha. Dance them. I don't... Melinda, I don't know what dancing, dancing mint leaves means. Okay, 
So it doesn't look very, it doesn't look very festive, right? It just looks like leaves floating outside in rain, I know. But, oh, but trust me, trust me, it's good. Okay, we're just gonna set this aside and let the mint infuse into that liquid and we're gonna start with our salad. Now again, this is the red one and this is the yellow one. These are dragon fruit. You're gonna try Brussels sprouts for your husband. I gotta go. Oh, okay, bye, Laurie. Come back in on the YouTube and watch the replay for the salad. Okay, the red ones um, are, are probably what I consider the prettier ones. Look at the inside of that. Now, not all are this color. I have another one that was huge, a big, huge one, and this is the color that it was. Here, let me show you. Let me show you. This one oh, was white inside. This one is like a reddish pink inside. You see? They were both red dragon fruit. You don't really know until you get in them. Oh, chiffonade. That's what you were thinking of. Now look, look at all the red. I should probably shouldn't have my white cutting board open, right? Um, now, so you have some options on how you peel this. Uh, you can just get a spoon and spoon it right out of there. Um, that's, that's an easy thing. You can take your knife and just go along the edge and, um, and cut the skin away. Certainly can do that. Wholly up to you. Um, it is quite delicious though. And one of the reasons I wanted to do that is, I, I don't know if you're home, right? I don't know if you're going to work every day or you are stuck at the house. I don't know if you're feeling like, gosh, we eat the same things all the time. Although, if you're cooking with me, you should not be eating the same things all the time. But I know that I don't always do a lot of fruit or a lot of vegetables, so I was trying to trying to help you out today. Um, and so, you know, a regular fruit salad, if you're just tired of bananas, apples, pears, I understand that, and that's why I wanted to give you, we can't see your cutting board. Oh, I'm sorry, let me tilt down. Let me tilt down. Now, can you see the cutting board? Here it is. Okay, so I took all the, whoa, I took all the skin off of it, see? I just cut all the way around. My cutting board is now a vibrant pink and it matches my hair. How lovely is that? Okay, I'm just doing a dice on here and I'm gonna put that in a bowl. In the bowl it goes, okay? Yum. But first, let's try it. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, that being said, I'm gonna put this aside for right now. Good Lord, it looks like somebody died. Ah! And this is my white one. Oh well, look, eek. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and yee. Ah. Okay, get that off. Really should not have used the white. Eek. Okay, now we're gonna do the yellow one. Here's the yellow one, okay? The yellow one, dragon fruit are just the same, right? It's not like, although I always wanna think that like one is the boy and one is the girl, right? And here's why I want to think, they look like beets, I know, right? Um, one is the, the red one is the pretty one, I think. Especially if you get the, the one that's dark inside. And quite frankly, I have never figured out how to figure out which one. Because most of the time when I've bought them, they've always been white inside, okay? Let me get this off. Look, so this is the other one. I bought two. Right? And so they look the same on the outside, but that's not what they look like, right, when I put it in the bowl. Okay. The reason I think of these as boys and girls is because the red one or pink one, I think, is much prettier, right? I think it's a prettier, um, I don't know, it's just prettier, right? Because of the color. This one, although, look at the, look at the inside of that. Hold on, look at the inside of that. It doesn't look that appetizing. It's not that pretty, yet the yellow one is much sweeter. It's much sweeter than the pretty one. And you know, in like in, in uh, animals, the pretty, the pretty bird is the male, the ugly bird, I mean, you know, the kind of drab bird is the female, but you know, the female is much sweeter. <laughs> That's what we are, we're much sweeter. 
Then I'm gonna put in a kiwi, okay? Now this is just a regular green kiwi. See, inside, green kiwi. Um, and again, the kiwis weren't too terribly expensive. Um, the, um, the dragon fruit were, they were, they're about $5 a piece. And that's, that's not cheap. So again, this is not a salad that you want to make like every day. Um, but you know, just treat yourself to say, oh, I have, you know, maybe it's a romantic thing. Maybe you do have a romantic dinner with your husband and say, tonight we have dragon fruit. <laughs> a little fire. The only thing I'll tell you is if you think that the, the romance is, is passion fruit, ugh, I think passion fruit is nasty, bitter to me. You just got your power back on. Rose, oh no. Um, I know, are you in North Carolina or somewhere like that? I know that there were several people in North Carolina that lost power. So, um, anyway, kiwis are the same way. Did I peel the stickers off the fruit? I, I did. <laughs> Although, uh, since I was peeling them anyway, that just drives me nuts. The edible stickers. Has anybody ever tried to eat the stickers? Oh, Chicago. Rose, was it because of the looting that you lost power? I, I'm, you know, I don't know. Um, I hope you're safe, Rose. All right, and there's, there were two of them. The yellow kiwis, same thing. They're, they're lovely, they're yummy, they're much sweeter than the green kiwis are. They're much sweeter, okay? Now, um, oh, you know what? Hold on, let me check the Brussels sprouts. Mm. Oh my goodness, it smells good. Okay, um, I wasn't gonna do this because it kind of takes a while, but I'm gonna go ahead since when I did this before, you said you couldn't see the cutting board. This is the other half because it's gonna make everything pink, right? Just make sure you don't use a, don't eat the stickers. Oh, Kentucky lost power too, wow. Terrible storms, tornadoes touched down. Oh, that's awful. I know, we're, I lived in Oklahoma for a long time. And um, so, you know, I got the whole tornado thing. And then of course, you know, I lived in Galveston and now I live in Houston. And so I get the whole uh, hurricane thing going all the time. And we're smack dab in the middle of hurricane season. Do you know where I'm supposed to be today? According to my calendar, I am supposed to be on a cruise ship somewhere else. That's where I'm supposed to be today. I think I'm supposed to be in uh, Grand Cayman or Key West or somewhere today. So I'm a little disappointed that I am not in those places. Same in Jersey. Gosh, it must have, the storm must have come on that coast, I, I do suppose. Oops, I missed that. All right. So I've made a big, I've made it a big pink mess. I don't know why my daughter bought hair color. We could have just gotten a big old dragon fruit and rubbed it in my hair, right? Okay, in we go. La la la. Now, because I didn't know, Ugh. I didn't know when I bought them whether it would be red and pink inside. Oh, look, my hand. Eww. Whether it would be red inside or whether it would be right white inside. Um, I went ahead and, um, and I'm gonna use up that leftover uh, watermelon that I had. Look at this. Pink everywhere, pink everywhere. Okay, so this is my leftover watermelon. Maybe I'm gonna get it off. There we go. Mmm, I love watermelon. Love watermelon. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump that in there. All right, so here's our salad. Let me give it a toss. I know, I wouldn't wanna be on a ship. Well, I, I don't see that there's any bad weather out there. I mean, I really don't, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, now, um, that being said, so look what we have in here. We have two kinds of dragon fruit, the red kind, which, which look, look, ooh, it's dark, it's dark. Uh, we have a white dragon fruit. We have two kiwi, just the plain green, um, and then we have some watermelon. Now, the red dragon fruit is giving all of this a really pretty purple color. Look at this. Look how gorgeous that is. <gasps> Ooh, ah, mm, it's a big fruit salad. And then I'm gonna put the dressing on, okay? So 
So I'm just gonna pour the dressing on. And really, it wasn't that much, right? Because we want the natural flavor of the, you can't trust your kids with that dragon fruit. What does that mean? Oh, you think they make a mess everywhere, Natalie? Maybe. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a toss because I want the dressing to get on everything. And then I would put this in the refrigerator just for about 30 minutes. I mean, really, we want that lemon, honey, mint flavor um, on. We've already got some juice going, which I think is lovely, okay? There we go. But before that happens, watch. I'm gonna eat the red one. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, now I get the mint. Where's a piece of kiwi? There's a piece of kiwi. Okay, so now dragon fruit, kiwi, mint. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yeah, did stain a little bit. Maybe use rubber gloves. Okay, so this will go in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Again, we just want all of our flavors to meld together in our dressing to coat our salad. Guess what? Guess what? It's time to take out our Brussels sprouts. I'm very excited. Are you excited to see our Brussels sprouts? I am. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, it's bubbly. Look, 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 look. Can you see the bubbles? Can you see how creamy and yummy and bacony and cheesy it is? Oh, I have to set it down. Hey, Deanne, good to see you. We have somebody else on here from New Jersey, Deanne. Oh my goodness, the Brussels sprouts are perfect. Oh my goodness. All right, and so you've got just a little bit of a cream sauce in the bottom. I'm gonna tilt down just a little bit more so that you can see. Can you see? Let's see, I think I need to go this, whoops, nope, this way. Can you see it? Can you see how beautiful that is? Oh my goodness, you're ooing and aahing, aren't you? Look at the bacon, and look, look at that creamy cheese in the bottom. <gasps> Yum! Okay, I got a taste, and this is so hot. Like, this is so hot. Oh, okay, my fork went away. All right, let me see. I'm see if I can find a smallish one. Uh, a smallish one. Okay, that's smaller. Here, Ooh. but I have to have sauce. I have to have sauce and bacon. Oh, look at that. We're gonna have to sit here for a second. You're gonna have to sit here. I know it's time for me to go, but but if I taste this right now, I'm not gonna have a tongue left. Mail you a bite. Look, look, look at that. Look how pretty. <gasps> yum, yum. It's all creamy. It smells delicious. And you know how sometimes when you cook Brussels sprouts, your house smells gross because of the, the smell they release? My house does not smell that. It smells really, really good. Okay, I'm giving it a shot. If I burn my mouth, I have the coffee nearby. Here we go. In. Mmm. 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 The cheese sauce, oh, that's hot. The cheese sauce and the bacon, oh. Mm. This is perfect. I just got tired of making Brussels sprouts with balsamic vinegar. I mean, really, that's the one everybody. So, mm. it's so good. Even if you don't wanna do two pounds, do one pound. Give it a shot. It's so good. I have to wash out. Mm. Mm. So good. So today's recipes. What did we make? Recap. Brussels sprouts, bacon, cheese, shallots. Mm. So good. And then we made our dragon fruit salad with honey, lemon, mint dressing. Mm. There's the happy dance. La, 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 la. This is my lunch. Yum, I may share and I may not. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not. If you're watching the replay, please put hashtag replay so that we can say hi and that we're glad you're here. Thanks again everybody for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Bye.